Hello and welcome to a special video. Um, in this video I will be talking about how to add a PayPal button to your website and automating the process. So for example when someone buys a product, an information product from you, um, they will be automatically taken to the download link without you having to manually send the link. Okay. Now the first things first, I'm logged on to PayPal website. I'm actually going to log in now and once logged in I will show you step by step how to create a PayPal button and automate, automate the process. So I'm going to log in right now. Okay I'm logged on to my um, PayPal account and what you need to do first of all you need to click on merchant services which is located at the top of your PayPal. Okay, once you've clicked that, um, then you need to click on this link here, buy now buttons. So click buy now buttons, and where it says create your button now, we just want to create our button. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to enter our information for our product. So it's accept payments for products and what we need to do is we get an option which says do you want your customers to buy multiple products before they check out. So if you want to say no, you click go on to the no. If you say yes then just go to yes. For the purposes of this example we will just select no. Next is the item name. So let's just say ebook on making money okay and the next thing to do is select your currency so if you're selling in dollars then we head over to dollars and just type in a price for example $27 okay next thing to do is you can customize your PayPal button now PayPal provides you with their own PayPal buy it now button or you can customize your own button so you just click on the customize appearance button and you just click on the use your own image button and if you've got an image on a separate host you can upload it to TinyPic and you can paste your image link here but for the purpose of this example I'll be using a PayPal button and postage is usually zero uh, the next thing to do is you need to go to step 2 check if everything is ok yep and then what I'm going to do is head over to step 3 now when you're on step 3 notice it gives you several options ok so what I usually do is if it, on the option can your customer add special instructions in a message to you? I usually click yes. Need your customer's postal address? I just click on yes. And then I'll go to take customer to a specific page after checkout cancellation. I usually leave that I, I usually leave that empty. But this one here, take customer to a specific page after successful checkout. This is your download thank you page. So, for example, when customer buys your product, they will be taken to this thank you page. So, the purpose of this example, I'm going to put yourdomain.com forward slash forward slash thank you page. Okay, once you've done that, you just click on create button, and this link here. What you need to do is you need to click on select code. You need to right click and copy head over to your um, web editor page where you want to add the button and so for example this is Microsoft front page I'm just simply going to paste the code here and as you can see the button the PayPal button appears for this example I've done it quite wrong so I'm going to correct my mistake Okay, so let's just see if you want to paste the button here. Okay, paste, copy and paste. 
and there we are we've got a buy it now button and next is you simply upload this file to your web host and then you simply have your PayPal button so when the user clicks buy it now they are simply taken to your page so ebook on making money so they can either pay by credit card or login and it says $27 it's pretty straightforward this okay hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you now know how to add a simple PayPal button and automate your process thank you very much for watching this video